coming out like Kobe Boy, it's on point like CP3 I be in my own world, my own world just leave me be I don't know why they judge me, but they don't even know my name But one day they gon' see my name in the Hall of Fame Going out like Kobe Boy, that's on point like CP3 Going out like Kobe Boy, that's on point like CP3 Ladies and gentlemen, meet Mr. Carlton Bragg. This young man is the perfect example of making something out of nothing. Bragg started out virtually as an unknown prospect, to becoming a state champion, to now being the 10th ranked player in the nation for the class of 2015. Bragg's progression has definitely been all hustle and no luck. Body too. We was working on ball handling and um, stuff like that. We would go up and down. He had some gloves on. And I had him dribbling with his left and right crossover. Um, he was doing big man drills. But this is the first court that, um, that, that Carlton worked out at um, that summer before his, his ninth grade. Remember that, Carlton? <laughs> this is where it all began, right here. This court right here is called Topeka. Topeka, this is where um, we used to ball at. On Sundays, they ball here. A lot of the older guys come, they have the young guys, but this is where it all began right here. Uh, Topeka, we're going up and down, left and right hand, uh, dribbling, crossover, and um, doing big man drills. So this is, this is the, the beginning. I forgot about this, I bet he did. Uh, I, bet you, I bet you forgot about this. Yeah. Got on that blue jogging suit. He won like a million yeah, times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First of all, I'm, I don't know if he's that great right now. I just uh, took a shot at him early. You know, the thing I'm most proud of, Steve, is without a shadow of a doubt, the thing I'm most proud of is his, his, his progress academically. Um, I mean, he, he, you know, coming from a public school, it's going to be an adjustment. Um, you know, we had a, we, we've had to really, really stay on him. It's been, and that's been just, just, just to watch him because, you know, basketball-wise, he's 6'10", he can shoot the ball. You, you could see, you know, the, the God-given ability. So you knew eventually that was going to be, he was going to be special in that sort. But academically, he was obviously out of, the, out of his comfort zone. So he, he ended up last quarter with a 3'7". Uh, the, the work that he's put in, the changes he's had to make to his habits, to his study habits, um, to the things that you know make him uncomfortable. That's been for me. That's been the most gratifying thing as a coach. You know, you know, uh, when, I, when I think of Carlton, I, I think of a couple things. You know, number one, I, you know, I think of the fact that nobody does anything great on their own. You know, there's always somebody behind, uh, behind the scenes. And, and for him, I think we put him in a situation where, you know, we've been able to kind of foster the environment. You know, not, not placate him, not give him whatever he wants. Uh, you know, <clears throat> the guy who's been the most responsible for is, is Mike Craves. You know, his assistant, he was an assistant coach here, was a teammate of mine on the, uh, on the 92 state championship team. And Mike's just done so much for the young man in terms of, I mean, I'll never forget meeting Carlton for the first time. He, he literally couldn't look you in the eye. And Mike said, hey, you know, Carlton, look, look coach in the eye, shake his hand. Um, you know, I just think how far he's come from just just socially, just being a, and now Carlton will walk up, he'll introduce himself to a coach, introduce himself to somebody. I think that's one of his strong points now, is you know his personality and you know, how much Mike has worked on that, and that those type of things make such a big difference. Tonight, Joe's raises his 2013 state championship banner. They returned the majority of last year's letter winners, so it's easy to see why Coach Quaz expects a championship effort against neighborhood rivals you did high.
Time to meet the rest of the Vikings. Sharpshooter Simon is a junior. We've also got junior point guard Mo. Shooting guard Parker is a junior. Six foot nine Derek is a junior. Lone senior DeAndre. Sophomore Jeff. And junior Trayvon. VASJ only has one senior on this year's squad. A big reason why Joe's is ranked number one in the area and heavy D3 favorites for the next two seasons. You know, it's, it's a long tradition. I think we've had over 45 players that have played Division I basketball, uh, over 35 that have played uh, Division II, Division Three, And then the names, you just go down the list and, and you walk in our back hallway and it's, it's pretty special. You know, you get from Clark Kellogg to to, uh, to Stan Kimbrough and Eric Riley, Treg Lee. You know, of course, I'm gonna, I'll, miss a, I'll miss a bunch, so I don't want to name them all. Pat Lyons, Demetrius Henderson. <clears throat> a, lot of, a lot of great players that went on to great NFL careers that started playing basketball here. London Fletcher, Elvis Gerbach, Desmond Howard. Uh, you know, that list kind of goes on and on and on. And then, and then, um, <clears throat> then we got kind of broke through and got hot in the 90s on our first uh, uh, Division I championship in 1991. Next year came back, team I was on, I was a sophomore, I think we lost nine games. We weren't very good, we put it together at the right time. Won a Division II state championship, beating Columbus St. Charles. <clears throat> 93 probably had our best team, in my opinion. Uh, very talented, we, we, we weren't really well coached. I think that was our, our problem. Of course, I'm saying that facetiously because my old man was the coach. We had London Fletcher on that team, Ricardo Crumble, Melvin Lovett, Brian Osar, went to UNLV. Probably had five or six Division I guys. Got beat by a... Uh, by a Gerard team that was coached by by uh, Coach Kersanik over at over at Menor. They beat us in the regional finals. After that, we were, you know, we were pretty motivated to come back, and we thought we should have had three in a row. But we came back uh, my senior year. Myself, Melvin Levin, Richard Knights is uh, Coach Jason Pry, who might have been our best player. I'm biased towards that team, obviously, because that was my senior year. We win it all. First saw, first saw Demonte Zetter. We was in uh, after practice. Him and Dwayne stacks of letters like this. Saudi, I got like this. Oh man, 30, 40. <laughs> you get like 12 a day. I just give it to my uncle. Got a pile like this big. That's yeah, stacking though. Stacking? That may be an understatement. Name a school. Any school in the nation. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in that pile. Wisconsin, Florida State, Purdue, Memphis, uh, Georgetown, West Virginia, Kansas, Kansas, North Carolina, uh, Maryland, Kansas State, Illinois, Rutgers, Ohio State, Texas, Texas. Uh, um, UCLA, Michigan. Well, you know, in the beginning, um, he's needed a lot of work. Um, we started jump roping. Um, just working out every day, six in the morning, waking up, going in the, the park in the back, um, going out um, to work with Bob Nance and, and stuff like that, and just got his game together. But the, the, the biggest thing to help him out was the jump rope, um, the working out, the dribbling, just all, just all the fundamental stuff to get him together. Um, that's what sort of got his game together. Um, we went to a couple camps, um, the hoop group camp, um, he blew up there. And, and then just from that, you know, it was, it was, 
it was that. Um, a lot of networking with different coaches, um, just getting his name out there, and you know, just you know, just getting everybody to know Carlton Bragg. Um, from there, it's, it's all she wrote. Well, Carlton's play, that's the best thing. You know, you could talk about a kid and say, hey, this, that, and other, but Carlton really showed that, you know, he, he's a player. Um, you know, his um, work on the court, um, shooting the ball well, running the floor, that was one of the big things that everybody liked about him, that he, that he ran the floor to be a big guy. Um, and he produced at the camps, the big camps. You know, he went out to a couple camps across country and, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, that's, that's, that's what made it happen, you know. Um, it's one thing to say, hey, look at this kid, but for him to produce the way he did, that, that was special. Well, the camps, I love them. Uh, you get to play it's great competition. You get better at each camp. Um, it's a lot of players. It's good. It's kind of hard when you first play. Um, it's a very good competition. But you just got to show what you got. Um, it's not that hard, but it was hard for me because I was an unknown. Didn't have very much skill, but as I progressed and worked at it, got better. Um, it just feel good. It kind of gets you exposure for real. You know, I'm just proud of him. You know, he come from the bottom. I remember where he played football a lot. And he just turned it over and started playing basketball. Come from nothing. As far as his game, he come a long way. A long way. And he got a lot more improvement than doing. I just want him to keep working, stay at it, become one of the best to do it. Helping the city, putting the city back on the map. As far as the big um, exposure, you know, shout out to the third coast. Love that. Yeah, it's coming a long way. Keeping them out of trouble. This is the box. This is the box. Where the toys come out. So this is the box right here. Um, we created a folder. I'm gonna break it, take it out. We created a folder for every school that's recruiting them. Um, so this is a folder for every school that's recruiting him. And, um, what it is, I created a folder for every school, and we'll go through and, um, like for instance, right here at Cleveland State, they offer him. So every school that's recruiting him, I'm gonna give him some information about the schools, and Carlton and his family will be able to, um, like, cut it down. Right now, we have 32 schools that that have um, interest in him. Um, 29 have offered. So this is going to be the, the box. Um, once I get finished with all the information, I'm going to give it to Carlton and his mom, and they're going to be able to sit back and, you know, um, decide on which schools to, to, to cut out. Um, just the college location, education, um, the campus life for athlete, coaching style. It's just different categories that I, that I um, listed for them, you know, um, to know about the different schools. So this is the magic box. Um, Carlton and his family are going to have it. And it's going to be Carlton's decision. We'll probably cut it down um, from September of next year. And then he'll have his, um, his five visits where he can go and check them out. So this is the magic box. Yeah. Got this, uh, OBC. You won. I'll really keep trophies. This is this. Oh, another one. And that's about it. I'm going net. Oh, I get my state championship ball. Championship. Uh, this is this. This is district uh, finals basketball. Um, yeah. There you go. Uh, state championship ball. It's my baby. Why you get to keep the ball? Oh, you know, I got that. <laughs> and and it was my magic. Didn't nobody grab it, so. And when you say don't make it, I mean that's a that's a tough term because you know my my um, my avenue or my vision for him is is, is when I say make it, I mean, I'm not talking about the NBA or even Division One college. You know, if you want to see him, you know, get out of here and, and, and hopefully pick a college that best emulates what we have here at VASJ. You know, I want to see him. I want to see him become the things that, that that Mike Graves has been steering him towards. Just be a be a good young man. You know, be educated. You know, make 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 good decisions. 
Um, you know, so as far as far as basketball goes, it's you know, are you going to get content? You know, are you going to keep working? Because a, a lot of a lot of young men can handle adversity, right? And I think that's what, part of what your story is. Is and it's a great story. I mean, he, you know, he came came from nothing. You know, this 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 school was a whole new whole new world to him. You know, struggled at first. Now he's kind of found his niche. Um, now where the struggle sometimes comes is, you know, how do you handle success? You know, and he had some he had some great people around him. You know, I think he'd tell you himself that that, that you know, Dwayne Gibson was a big impact on his life. Um, that, that was one of the things I thought about. You know, like he, he was so good last year because Dwayne was getting it to him. Now he's got to create on his own or do things differently. Um, Demonte had a big impact on him. I mean, when, when Carlton was a freshman, Demonte he should just just beat the living crap out of him. And um, you know, and then you watch Carlton develop. And the next summer, it's like, oh, okay, Carlton's going at Demonte a little bit now. So it, it's you know be, being able to push yourself when those guys aren't here pushing them anymore. I mean that's a piece of it. You know you, you can you, you can I mean he's been trained to say you know, stay stay hungry, stay humble, but, but saying it and doing it are, are hard because you got people um, you know they're they're gonna tell you how good you are and they're gonna tell you how uh, you know they're gonna try to give you things just because they want something they want they want an ROI they want a return on investment. So. You know, it's it's trying to block those out, keep your keeping your inner circle tight. Um, you know, and and, and, and you know, want to be coached too. Uh, the best thing I can think of, Steve, is we had an open gym one day, and um, you know, obviously, you know, coach Coach Dan Rod is, is isn't recruiting. Uh, he's not recruiting Carlton. I mean, I, I think you know, I, I, he, he knows that with Akron, and I hope Carlton remembers it. But Coach Dan Rod made some really. You know, made some laudable comments. You know, I mean, he said, "Hey, you know, you're the next, you're the next LeBron. You're, you're, but you know, as talented as someone I've seen." And I was like, "Wow!" And then he turned and he said, "You know, these guys are going to coach you. They're not going to, they're not going to play kid yet. You know, so if you want to be great, you know, you're, you're going to want to be pushed." And that, that would be the thing for for me. Um, we talk about with him all the time is just from a leadership standpoint. You know, make sure that we, that we keep working on that and, and understand that. You know, if I want you to be good, I'm going to push you. I'm going to push you on days that, you know, you, you might not like it. And I, to me and you, they can say whatever they want to say. That kid top five in that 2015 class, brother, he has an all-around game. You know what I'm saying? Um, this still is unlimited. You know, if he can get them books together, and that kid may have a shot for the league.